hello 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 thank you guys so much for tuning into another video it is your girl tabitha here today i thought i'd do something a little bit different which was show you guys in all these haul so i usually try to stay under i say 150 in all these that includes um not just food but any other like you know all these has like a home decor kitchen decor kitchen utensil type of aisle so i go down that aisle sometimes and find some good stuff too so we're going to quickly go through everything again i'm shopping for a family of six sometimes eight <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and hop right on into it so the first thing i get are these plain bagels here it comes in a pack of one two three four five six these are the larger bagels so something quick for the kids for any of us to eat in the mornings um all these does have they do have blueberry flavor too and i think like cinnamon raisin or something like that too um, i usually only get two packs because any more than that is gonna spoil and go bad and we don't with food prices we don't need food going bad so this was I think these are like a dollar, dollar nineteen, something like that. We were thinking about grilling this weekend. We have a park not too far from our house that has a playground, a basketball court, and a grill, a little picnic table. So I picked up some of these ground beef patties, and these are ten patties for ten dollars. Now, obviously, you see, um, I went to an oldies that was a little bit further away from me because the one that's literally right down the street from me. Um, they're doing some renovations, so they're not currently open. So, 10. I went ahead and got two packs of these because even if we just grill one pack, save the other pack. Uh, these are good, too, if you want to make just regular hot, regular hamburgers on the stove. Also, if you want to make um, hamburger steaks, they're already, you know, in patty form and ready to go. Next up, we have some chicken drumsticks these were nine dollars and thirteen cent and you get two four six eight ten of them for nine dollars and thirteen cents i thought that that was an excellent deal i've never had a problem with meat that comes from all these at all chicken beef whatever it is i've never had a problem with quality or freshness of meat or of the meat or anything like that so um and i just got one pack because i wanted to kind of get some variety of meat so this is good i make some other chicken and i usually use the drumsticks it's really good next up we have ground beef so these were um for two about two and a half 2.34 pounds of meats nine dollars and 34 cent so ground beef is a little expensive right now so in my area all these is the cheapest place to go and usually when i go i always get two packs and they're both about the, they're both for nine dollars and 34 cent and you know sometimes it'll be nine dollars and 43 cents or nine dollars and 68 cents so it just depends but definitely can make multiple meals with this um so yeah next up as far as meat i did get some ground italian ground mild sausage so this is great um we usually sometimes we make um if you have had the zuppa toscani soup from olive garden we make that homemade at home sometimes too and having the sausage in there is like essential so yeah and sometimes i'll put this in like one pack when i'm making spaghetti too really good so i got two packs these were about three dollars a pound so the pork sausage is a little bit higher next up we have these waffles home style waffles and we have 10 in the pack so again these are great for breakfast time for the kids in the morning you know before they go to school a lot of times we don't cook in the mornings or we'll have something quick like eggs you know something quick that we can make um, because you know everyone's on the go in the morning as next up this is something new uh, this is the whole and simple Mediterranean style chicken I never know how to pronounce that let's see if we can next up we have this is something new that I found this is the whole and simple Mediterranean style chicken I never know how to pronounce this word bowl but it has brown rice spinach 
red bell peppers and sun-dried tomatoes so this is something that is quick for me to take to work again hopefully it's good because i haven't tried this before but i've been really cutting back on buying restaurant food when i go to work because it just adds up to too much money every month so just to cut back when i go to the grocery store i just make sure that i have something that i can take for lunch for work and there was another variation of that with the same uh, yeah i'm not gonna try uh, again this is a southwestern style bowl and this has brown rice sweet potatoes black beans corn and bell peppers so um, i got this one for my husband to try because he likes uh black beans and sweet potatoes i'm not really a huge fan of black beans or sweet potatoes so i'll give this one for my husband to try next up this is another new product that i found this is the ready to eat cauliflower meal indian vegetable curry so it has the rice at the bottom and then the curry right at the top you just mix it up so hopefully this is good this is something that i'll take to work and hopefully it's good all right guys next up um this was in the home section this is three pack of fridge liners i don't know why i never thought to line the fridge like i didn't even know something like this was i just it just never dawned on me to have that because things spill kids spill you know so to keep the fridge a little bit more cleaner yeah so obviously they're rolled up so i'll have to i got some heavy weights so i'll use that to kind of flatten it out and then we will try these out so this is the picture kind of representation of what it'll look like so i was like awesome fine got some oatmeal cream pies <laughs> um i usually don't buy a bunch of snacks when i go to aldi's or period um anymore just because snacks like anything else it just adds up and it's like next thing you know you're spending 20 30 dollars on snacks when you could have spent that on food so but i did want to get just one thing um and this all these that i went to they had a lot of name brand snacks picked up two packs of hot dogs again we're thinking about grilling so i just wanted to make sure we had you know some options to cook and then so we can be able to have leftovers the next day too we have the deli selected honey uncured ham this is usually around three or four dollars and you get a nice um, amount of meat and these are like the thinly cut slices so next up this is something new that i picked up i'm not even gonna attempt to let's see if we can i'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce this but this is the cucumber and dill um dip that you would use if you got a euro so and then i saw this bad boy right here uh, and this is something new too i've seen i just found this is the euro sandwich kit it makes five large sandwiches so you can make this in the microwave or the skillet it includes a 16 ounce fully cooked gyro sauces slices excuse me eight ounce so it has eight ounces of this sauce already in there this is what is this this is 10 ounces so something a little bit smaller than this is already in the package but i like a lot of sauce so i got an extra one and then it also has 14 ounce pita breads five pita breads um not all the kids like euro so that's why i just got one pack of these um and this will be on a day where you know we might not necessarily cook a huge meal everyone's just kind of eating whatever because we do have at least one day a week okay so it does say to keep frozen and thaw prior to you so i'm just gonna stick this in the freezer because we're probably not going to use it for a couple of days as a few condiments i have the ranch let me put this up a little higher okay so i got some ranch some syrup and this syrup is a little bit thicker um the the one that i had purchased from dollar tree none of the kids liked it i did not like it so yeah i'm like let me just stick to what i usually get um, i usually will get the target brand but um yeah so here we go we also have the concord grape jelly for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and um 
these are all like a dollar, a dollar fifty-five, a dollar nineteen. Um, so if you like the Dollar Tree version of these items, it'll be you know thirty, forty, fifty cents cheaper. But um, I don't like the Dollar Tree Rants or the jelly or the syrup. <laughs> the syrup. So yeah. So picked up two of the traditional spaghetti sauces. Sometimes I like to get the meat sauce, but. I was spending too much time in there so I had let me grab these and hurry up and get up out of there um, yeah and these were like a dollar fifty five really really inexpensive I also got these jumbo buttermilk biscuits here and again these are I know so they had the Pillsbury brand which was two dollars and I'm pretty sure these were like a dollar fifty nine or something like that so I just ended up getting the Aldi's brand I've gotten these before haven't had a problem with them they taste just like the name brand was to me. So this is what it looks like here. Jumbo biscuits. So if you're gonna make like sandwiches, and that's what we usually do with these, uh, we'll make breakfast sandwiches. Don't get the flaky ones if you're gonna make sandwiches. I like get the buttermilk biscuit ones for sure. To so go along with the bagels, I got some cream cheese spread and strawberry cream cheese spread. I don't remember let me look at my receipt here and these were a dollar 55 a piece so believe it or not um i personally don't like the name brand version of strawberry cream cheese i just don't like it so i mean and especially being two three four dollars i'm like i might as well just get the one from all these so you know some of the kids like strawberry and some of the kids like regular so i like to make sure i get both so got the cheese again this cheese was probably yeah they're all, it's all like a dollar 55 dollar 79 something like that um this cheese actually melts so that's why i have no problem getting the all these version of this cheese stuff i also got these golden round crackers um so i love the name brand version um, from the, I think it's Nabisco really really good I have I don't think I've tried the Aldi's version so I wanted to try it out I also picked up some zucchini and some romaine lettuce to use for sandwiches and making salads and things like that I should have I should have gotten some kale because kale is really good to make for uh, salads and kale is also what we need to use to make the zupa soup so I forgot to pick up some kale too and this um, this haul here uh, I was just going off of my head things that I needed because I have assigned the grocery list to my daughter she likes to help me write the grocery list so you know she'll look through the fridge and see what we're missing uh, but she forgot to write it for me this week and I forgot I just wasn't thinking when I was leaving the house this morning. So, got this zucchini. All right, guys. Next up, I got these pot stickers. I got the chicken pot stickers, which look like this. How many come in the bag? Serving size is five pieces. There's four servings, so there's 20 in here. And these were pretty affordable. Let me look on my receipt quick and see how much these were. Yeah, these pot stickers were $3.99 for 20 of them. Um, at my local grocery store, I usually get a bag just like this and it will have 20 in it and it's like $7.99, $8.99. So when I saw these, I was like, awesome because we like pot stickers. It's such a quick and easy meal to make. Uh, literally, we like ours just to be kind of fried um on the in a skillet for a few minutes put some when they're all done you know put some soy sauce on it and then guys the key ingredient cilantro dice up as much cilantro as you like mix it all in it's so good we make homemade fried rice with it really really good so this is the chicken pot stickers and then i also got the pork pox pot stickers so hopefully these are good okay guys last but not least which i was super happy that i found this this is let me show you guys here so this is the retro portable blender 
stainless steel blades, glass bottle with a lid, and it's also rechargeable. So I'm assuming it comes with a charger. And you guys know these this type of thing is like trending right now. Every time I turn around on TikTok or Instagram, I'm seeing an ad for something similar to this. It was only $14.99. And things similar to this are literally 30, 40, 50 bucks. So when I saw this, I was like, score. Um, they had this color and they also had it in white, but this kind of color scheme is what I like. So I got that. All right, guys, that was everything that I got. And again, I can't always find everything I need at all these, but for the most part, I can find pretty much everything except for maybe a few things. Uh, their produce is great, um, so I like that. And there is pretty much nothing else to say. With these grocery store prices going up higher and higher, eggs are expensive, milk is expensive, the basic things are expensive. So if you can cut your grocery costs by just going to all these and save some money, especially when you're like me, you know, someone who has a large family, you definitely want to save as much as you can. Okay, guys, enough rambling. Thank you guys so much for tuning into another video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching, and I will check you guys out in the next video. Bye.